Hi guys, Astronomic here. Today I'm bringing you uh, the first episode in my Dungeon Guide series where we're going to be going through, through the various dungeons and um, giving you a guide on how, how to complete them, full maps um, and tactics for bosses, team setups, things like that. Today the first one that we're going to be looking at is this one. It's Xerox recommended power of 8600. Players should be prepared to, for further challenges. They're about to meet Xerox. Do, do not be confused by her appearance. It will be a hard fight. This is true around this level. It is a pretty tricky fight if you're uh, only at 8,600. Um, it gives you upgrades for purple plus one for this, this dungeon. Um, in terms of your setup for this dungeon, you are going to be wanting um, generally heroes with a lot of sustain. You're going to be wanting um, heroes like Brute, um, Lord Odem. Nargo Nargo, um, Renpoor is another good op good option, um, but you do need some DPSs as well, um, just for the start, the first phase of the fight, so if you can get in a decent DPS like Lady Ember for example. As always, don't forget to use your assists, they're a massive help, you can see from my friends list I've got quite a few friends that have got um, better, better heroes than me in one way or another, so like for example I can swap Lady Ember out for an improved version. Um, so yeah, make sure that your friends are up to date. Make sure you've got friends with with um, with some high levels, some people that you can use quite easily. Um, put him in the backup team. There we go. Something like that should be absolutely fine for this. Um, but I'll go more about the team tactics later. But yeah, if you can get a, a team with some decent sustain, but also some decent DPS for the first phase, um, you should be golden for this. Okay, so now let's uh, actually just do a quick, quick run, run through, through the dungeon. dungeon. I'm just fast forwarding through the main run because there's nothing too complicated here. All the groups are pretty easy to take out with a decent party. There's 20 slots in total for the dungeon, so it will take you two days if you don't have resets available. I'll post a link to the full dungeon map in the description below, which is courtesy of Starbright at the Heroes and Titans forum. So thank you very much for that, Starbright. Once you get towards the end of the dungeon, you will encounter Xerox, which is the end boss for this level. Uh, she has three abilities, Galaxy Rain, which does it says it causes massive damage, it's not too bad, um, it will cause AoE, so you will need some decent AoE healing. Um, charm, which randomly Charm, and if you confuse it, not, don't need to worry about this too much. Poison Gas, which is another AoE, so you are going to need some quite strong AoE healing. Um, you can see the recommended heroes there, Brute, Nargo Nargo, Tremor, Kira and Zenbanko. Um, I'd agree with Brute and Nargo Nargo, I think they really really help. Um, if you do have Lord Odem, he's another one, you want lots of healers basically. Um, but for phase one you're going to need a lot of DPSs which I'll go over shortly. Um, so you need a, quite a good variation um, and you'll probably be doing quite a bit of switching in the, in the battle between phase one and phase two. On to the main boss fight now. The Xerox boss fight comes in two main phases. The first phase is just a straight up DPS race. You need to get all your damage dealers in the front line and dealing as much damage as possible, possibly keeping Nargo Nargo just to heal them up through the AoE damage. The second half of the boss fight comes when the boss reaches 50% health. When the boss reaches 50% health, you need to switch out of your damage dealers and go into your tanky um, sustain heroes that can keep themselves alive. The reason for this is that she has an ability called the Poison Gas Cloud, which she does normally around every 10 seconds. Um, she'll turn around, blow gas is the best way to describe it over your entire team, but does large AoE damage, but it also does damage to her where she knocks 10% off of her health. Therefore, you'll need to survive at least five of these um, for her to take herself down, and she's immune to all damage for this phase. So it doesn't matter how much damage you deal, you just need to stay alive long enough for her to kill herself. Therefore, I'd recommend that you have um, lots of people that can keep themselves alive as much as possible, um, and you need to make sure that in the first half of the fight, that's where you get all your damage done, because if you don't do it quickly enough, you'll find that in the second half of the fight, you run out of time before she actually kills herself. The two main points for this is that you need to remember the first the, the separation of the two phases and you need to understand that if you're getting to the end of the fight and you're running out of time, uh, you didn't do the first phase quick enough so you need to switch in more de damage dealers, you need to increase the levels of your damage dealers or increase the gear of your damage dealers. If it's the other way around and you're struggling with the second phase, i.e. your tanks, your characters are all falling, um, are all dying, um, your healers aren't keeping them up, then you need to gear up your tanks and your healers to make sure that they can survive through that sustained um, portion of the fight. That's it guys, that's how you do the Xerox dungeon. If you have any more questions, please comment below and I'll be happy to answer. Otherwise, stay tuned for next week when I'll be covering the Raviente dungeon.